So, I just, this video contains spoilers for the Unwanted and Unwanted Quest series. I don't know what else you want me to say up front, because that's what this is. It's me talking about these books. These books. So, I discovered these books in fourth grade during this alphabetizing project thing at my school, and I fell in love with them. They are really good books, um, the characters are really deep and they the way they're written makes them come alive, basically. Um, and so, yeah. Uh, if you haven't read them, they're really good. Alex and Aaron are amazing. Oh, by the way, I'm going to pronounce all their names wrong because. Um, but yeah, if you haven't read them, buy, go read them. There's only like 14 books. Eh, it'll only take a while. That's fine. <sighs> okay, so I literally just finished reading uh, book six, seven, sorry, seven of the Unwanted Quests. And I want to talk about it because they're good books. Um, yeah, so like I said, I discovered it in fourth grade. I stopped reading it uh at like uh like right before dragon's curse came out um so yeah i haven't i took a break from them and i'm so glad i read them again because they are so good so good um and, yeah, uh, um, my favorite, I have no idea what I'm going to talk about. So, like, my favorite books are definitely, um, it's definitely Island of Dragons. Because it has dragons, and I really like it. Um, one of the hardest book for me to read was definitely Island of Silence. Sure, Sky came in and she's my favorite character, but <sighs> Queen Elga, Eagola, whatever her name is, that was rough reading that. Um, but yes, that was very good. Um, this one was also good but hard to read, Island of Graves, um, because Simber, but it was, they're good books, um, and, you know, uh, so spoilers for Island, uh, Unwanted Quests now coming up, because... Yeah, these books are really good. Um, yeah. Uh, favorite characters have... I, I love the main cast a lot. Um, and yeah, I'm sure I'll come up with other things to say later. So there's probably a video being slotted in right here. So, Simber's great. I love him very much. Um, I... Don't remember how I transitioned. I should have probably looked, but I'm lazy. Um, Simber is great. I love him very much. I love all the statues. Um, yeah. Uh, I didn't realize that Pan was a black dragon. Um, I thought Pan was a blue dragon. But, because there's hints of blue on this. But, yeah. 
you know, yeah, if there's another thing, I'll put it right here. See, like I said, have a lot to say, but I don't know what I'm saying yet. Um, but yeah, so I am going to do spoilers now for Unwanted Quests. So bye bye, Sarah. I know you're watching this and I will say you have to read these. They're really good. Um, but yeah, now go away until you finish reading them. Bye bye. Oh, okay. so Unwanted Quests, um, because I read them more recently, I haven't read those books in forever, so I have no idea. I, I know I like them. I don't remember a lot about them. I know they were the books that got me into reading. Um, but that's about all I remember. Like, I remember the basic plot, but that's about it. Um, Island Quest, uh, Island Quest. I keep wanting to say Island Quest. Unwanted Quests. Uh, I remember more of because it was more recent. Um, I want, I will say that at first I hated it. I didn't like it because what they did, what Lisa did with Alex and the twins. Um, but I've actually grown to really like it now. Um, and yeah. You can tell I don't know what I'm saying because I'm fidgeting with my hair. Um, yeah, so um, I'm glad we got to see more of the dragons because I'm a sucker for dragons. I love dragons. I have dragons on my pin board back there. I have a lot of dragon stuff. I have dragons over there. There, yeah. Um, but I didn't like the first book very much, Dragon Captives. Um, yeah, I I didn't care for Thisbin or Pfeiffer or Seth, like, at all, because um, I found them annoying, but I hate saying that now because I love one of them very much, one of them kind of, and one of them I don't really care about still. Um, so, yes, I am so glad that Sky is back. Um, I'm not glad that, uh, the Revenant or uh, whatever, what is her, how, uh, yeah, the Revenant, the Revener, the Rev, I'm gonna call her the Reverend. Because, or Dragon Lady. Let's just go with Dragon Lady because everyone knows who I'm talking about then. Um, I didn't know she was still alive. That was a surprise for me. Um, I'm so glad though that she's alive because that also means that Sky was alive. Um, and it's really interesting that aspect of it. Um, I, I'm jumping all over the place, but I had no idea that Drock, Droke, would be the one that would rule with Maven. Um, but I think that's really cool, because he deserves it. He's been through so much, and he has anxiety and panic attacks, so that's even better! <laughs> um, but yeah, I... Out of the main three in that book, let's get out of the way with the one I care the least about, which is Seth. He's he's there. He has to put up with the twins BS and that's about all I can say. Uh I yeah, I don't actually I don't care a lot about him. Um Pfeiffer uh, Pfeiffer I grew to care about more, um, and by the end, like, I was really invested by, I think it's, 
Yeah, by Dragon Fry Fire. Blah, 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 blah. It was a long day at school. Uh, Dragon Fire, I was very in invested in her character, but Thesbin is definitely my favorite. Thesby. Thesby. Thes girl. Thes is definitely my favorite. Um, I love her so much. She is amazing. She is really amazing. I love that she's part dragon because that's awesome. Um, her and Rowan are cute. Uh, you know, I was kind of hoping that uh, Pfeiffer and Dev wouldn't end up together. Because that would be cool if there was, like, an asexual, um, you know, person in there. But, you know, I'm also kind of glad they did, because they're really cute together. But, yeah. Um, uh, Maven is amazing. I love her. I want her as my grandmother. Um. Astrid, I'm glad she came back, and, like, because she, the ghost dragons were probably one of my favorite characters. Like, they were amazing, like, the fact that they forgot everything, like, immediately was amazing. Um, you know, the one thing I will say that I hate but also love is the fact that she made us, like, the villain or at least made me like the villain because when you talk about Emma and her backstory you feel for her and you understand what Thisbe's has been that's how I pronounce it sorry if that offends people but uh you understand what this been's going through because she I I don't know what I would have done if I was in her position. Um, I think, honestly, I would have... I, I don't know. Um, but, yeah. I... Uh, I think it... Okay, the water thing. As soon as... So I didn't realize that when the twins got captured by her, that she made a noise. Um, but when she had the dragons fish for her, when Dev was in the river, that's, like, my warning signals started going off in my head. Because I'm like, that's weird. But only, uh, only later in the book, um, when... They were like, what's her weakness? What's her, what's her shish, like, stuff? Uh, what's her shish kebab? I don't know. That comes later. <laughs> um, but what's her deal? And when Pfeiffer mentioned water to Thisbin, I was like, oh my god, you have to get that to her. You have to get that through your little mind link teleport of a telepathy thing. Um. And I'm glad they did. I think it's funny that everyone thought she just wanted water and then she kept shoving it away. Um, uh, Spike. I think that's her name. Spike. Uh, I will find it. Uh, yes, Spike the Furious. Um, I love that she got to kill the Revman. Um, I think that's amazing. I ha- I've- Okay, so, when they were corralling her towards the sen- the Revan- I'm jumping around, I'm sorry, but- If you've read all the books, you know what I'm talking about. And you understand what I'm going through a little bit, or at least I hope. Yeah, when they were corralling her towards the center of the riv- the crater lake, um- Hi, Zuma. Um, when they were doing that, I was like, are they gonna send her back to the, the Seven Islands? Like, but then when Spike came out and basically went, this is, this is Sparta, uh, this is for the Alex, um, 
that was amazing. Um, you know, I am sad that, but also it's a good way to end it that, um, well, I'm not even getting to the afterlife thing, but, um, not yet anyway, but having the three main leaders, um, Gunner, um, and Copper, uh, die in that fight was good but also sad because I love that Alex's gravesite. I, I haven't even gotten into that. Oh my god. I Alex died. Um Wow. That shocked me. Um yeah, um, <laughs> he doesn't care. He's, he hears someone shoveling out there. Um, but yeah, I, I love that Alex's grave and now Copper, Gunner, and Maven's graves. Um, it's like a monument to all the great leaders of their time. Um, I am sad that they weren't able to put Mr. Today there. Because, yeah, um, but, yeah, I, okay, uh, so, the scientists can die, that was a shock, like, okay, I thought it was, as soon as, um, the first one died, I'm not even gonna try and pronounce their names, <laughs> um, when the first one died, I was like, wait, what? What? And then I was like, okay, they can only die to, like, being killed. Um, uh, but then I was like, no, maybe it's just because he didn't have it very recently. Um, and then I knew something was going to happen. I thought, honestly, I thought he was going to come back because of the seaweed, because of the whole... And Aaron thought he could see his, like, spirits s s flying to our time. Um, but, you know? I don't know the ending. Um, I was very curious about what was behind that door. Um, and, like, when I read the uh, thingy right here and it was like, and they find out what's behind the door. Uh, and it says, and will the Armenians ever find out, figure out what's behind that last secret door? I'm like, what does that have to do with anything? Like, I had no idea. And, you know, I like it. Um, I do think it would be fun um, to get a little side book thing that um was like Megan, Alex, and Aaron catching up and going through his world. Um but yeah, I'm I'm glad that Megan was one of my favorites. That's I Again, that was so long ago. I'm in 10th grade right now. That was six years ago that I discovered these books. Right? Yeah, like six years ago. Um, God. Um, but, yeah, I remember loving Megan. And, you know, I think if I read these books again more recently when I read this, the ending to this, I think I would have definitely cried because my my favorite characters were coming back. Um, and yeah, I'm yeah, um if there's any other thoughts I have, I'll put them in a space right here. So I'm really glad that the 
two telepathic statues came back in. Um, and I'm glad Kitten came back in as well. Um, I think that it's very nice and fun. And yeah, uh, Frit Frigga, Frit, the terrible head mage. Um, you know, that was a lot to add on to the world ending problems, but it really let the characters shine. And I hate it, but I also like it. Why did they have to trap the people in the library in the cafeteria? In the lounge? I mean, magic sledgehammers? Seriously? Yeah. And, yeah, um, I discovered the Unwanted's app after finishing, um, and it is very helpful, um, and it's also kind of fun and funny, um, so, yeah, if you guys haven't checked it out, you, pr you should, it's free, um, and they have a lot of good facts and stuff, and they also have, like, songs and stuff, it's an art and, like, fan fiction, and I think, I haven't really checked it out very much, but, yeah, um, yeah, so, if you want more facts and stuff, um, cause there isn't really, like, a fandom page, this is, like, the fandom page, um, and, yeah, you know, I think that's all I have time for, so, I'm going to leave it there, um, I don't know how long this video is going to be because I haven't filmed the part I'm going to put in up. Yeah, um, so I have to find a new book series to read. Um, yeah, I'm sorry I haven't posted a lot. Um, school and mental health and stuff, so yeah, and COVID, ugh. It's really thrown a wrench in everything. Um, but, yeah, and I haven't done any art videos recently. Um, I mean, I'm working on the critical role thing, so if you guys want to see it, let me know. But, yeah, um, I'm gonna leave it there. Um, yeah, I will... See you next time, and I hope you enjoyed, and I hope people finding this video because they're interested in Unwanted's or they haven't heard of it yet, I hope those of you who haven't heard it about it go and see it and read it, and I know that they probably won't even hear this because I told them to, to leave the video, so that's great. Um... <laughs> I'm so smart. <laughs> um, but yeah, bye. I, I don't know how to end it, so. I'm great at this YouTube thing.